Just in time for wedding season and graduation parties, it is cookie table week here on PTL. Every day this week, we are featuring recipes and tips to help you create the best cookie table ever. Yes, and with so many cookies to choose from, it's hard to pick your favorite. But this week, we are showcasing the top five according to the Wedding Cookie Table Community Facebook group. And among the most popular are Lady Locks. Two dedicated bakers from the Facebook group are here with us to show us how to make them. Welcome Christy Fullwood of Cookies and Candies by Christy and Patty Wonka of Grandma Jones Cookie Forms. And thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. We learned so much yesterday about the, the cookie <clears throat> Facebook group, the wedding cookie table Facebook group, and mm -hmm. the cookie college. And mm -hmm. I, I, we had no idea there was such a huge community <laughs> surrounding yes. this to learn tips and tricks for cookies. Pittsburgh loves their cookies. We do. That's they do sure. love their cookies. And we yes. sort of mentioned at the top of the show, and we can address this quickly, but there's a, a very big difference between Lady Fingers and Lady Locks, right? So Lady, we're doing Lady Locks. Lady Locks are clothespins. They're clothespins. Yeah. Okay. And Lady Fingers are what? They are like a, a little sponge cookie that's about that big, and you okay. use it in tiramisu. That's easy. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. This is what about. you were saying yesterday. When you yesterday. said use it in tiramisu. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, both are delicious, but we're going to concentrate on Lady Locks. And, and the, you have the first step over here, I do. Right? This is cheater dough. So it's puff pastry dough. Okay. okay. And you cut it in strips. And they're about that long. Okay. okay so. And then you take a rod. And all I use are the Grandma Jones rods. I have 180 that I rotate through because I make about 60 dozen fresh a week. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah. You're so a busy what, woman. Is that this what you is what do? I do. You make cookies. I do a lot of festivals. I do a lot of weddings. I'm all mm. over the place. All right. So, so people don't want to make them at home. No. Uh, they can come to you. <laughs> yes. Okay. You go, okay. David. Oh, thank you. All right. So, what so, I and this kind is... of do. Oh, yeah, go nope. ahead. Nope. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong already. They're tapered. You just watch. <laughs> There's a, <laughs> there's a smaller end, there's a bigger end. It's important. Okay. So I kind of just start where the slit is, and I sort of put a corner there. And people do it different. And this is on the bigger end? No, smaller oh, end. The smaller end where the slit is. Okay. <laughs> yes. Does it matter which way you rotate? No. Because I guide it with my left thumb. So that's you rotate down that yeah. way? Yeah. Heather. I, I can't help you. You can't help me. <laughs> I'd rather watch you try this than me try it. <laughs> <laughs> and so right, now, right. how about if I get it started? I pinch a little <laughs> bit. Okay, oh, is this? Right. Yeah, <laughs> please. Let me start it for you. <laughs> Patty's going to help you. I'll, I'll help her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here has an Aunt Thank Patty, so this makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> We've got it started. They're oh, look how easily you did that. Yeah, just Oh, and back. then you just sort of pull I could, as I you guide it a little bit. I guide it and oh, pull okay. a little bit. And, and then so I give it a little pat so it kind of sticks, and I bake it that side down where the bottom is. With the rod in. Yes, and I like you'll still get. I call them little tails, and then they make a bowl of them and they go out to the birds. Because okay. if it's just a little piece that's flipped up this oh, is after they bake. Oh, okay. Like, this happens all the time. Okay, can you guys see that at home? Mm -hmm. like, it just oh, just a gets, little bit of, These okay. little things happen all the time. And so all then right. you just cut that off. You, I, you it knock it off. Little edge, knock yeah. it off. Yes. And feed them to the birds. Yeah. The birds probably love you. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> All right, how does this look? That's beautiful. Is it really? You want to do it again? Yes. Okay, yeah, I it's will do perfect. it again. Now that I have And I kind of push it a little bit. Okay, push it a little bit. Okay. So so once you've done this and they bake, mm -hmm. now how do you take this out? Or do you leave this in no, while you fill it? No, we take it out. Okay. We... Because it seems these so delicate. These are tapered. No, they're not delicate. They're okay. really not that delicate. They're tapered forms. They bake from the inside out also. Mm -hmm. They have a set a slit down the center, and all you have to do is pinch it together a little bit and then kind twist of it and then push, push it out. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. And then they pop right out. So we were also talking about Pittsburgh cream versus Boston cream mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do people know about Pittsburgh cream outside of Pittsburgh? Do they and I don't even know if this is considered. <laughs> That's a good I question. Make a, I make a traditional <laughs> filling for mine. It's like a 1950s recipe. Oh, so there's really? several different Filling. Some fillings. people mm -hmm. use a marshmallow, fluff-based filling. Um, I've heard cream cheese. So what is what is your recipe? What is the 1950s? Oh, oh mine's a secret. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> we won't find that out. We're not getting that today, are we? Okay. <laughs> there, the recipe that we've used today is on the back of the box. Okay. Cool. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. So now, how do you fill these? That you you've got it. So just. This is the fatter end, okay. the wider end of the cookie, and this is the, sh the smaller end because they're tapered. So just push it in there. As far as it'll go. Mm -hmm. 
And then can you make these in advance and then freeze them for an event? Absolutely. Oh, really? With the Absolutely. filling in, you can still freeze them? Absolutely. Okay, that's good to they know. They freeze sure beautifully. And then just slowly back out. Oh, look at this. There you go. Okay. And yeah. Wilton, Wilton makes a tip. We brought it with us. So and Patty, the, these tapers tip. have been in your family for a long time, right? Very long time, yes. Tell us about that. Yes. It was my mother-in-law's business. It's a family business. Mm -hmm. um, they've been sold since 1950 or earlier. Okay. And she passed the business to my husband and I, and we moved to Pittsburgh, and we put up a website, and we sell them now, and my, we make cookie forms. So it's a powdered sugar or to not? Yes. Yes. It's right there. She answered quickly. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Because yes. I know some people don't like because it gets on the wedding attire. You know, Just it absorbs it off, in right? so much <laughs> also that, that it like kind we of had to powder to sugar it. once we got here. And again. you know what okay, else? It helps oh, oh, hide you. any imperfections. Too. Right. Oh, is that. this the one you filled, Heather? That's the one that I filled. Oh, my gosh. All I'm you, honored. All for you, David. All mm. for you. Okay. And if people don't want to make them, they can contact you, right? Christy. Christy. Definitely. Okay. Absolutely. Good Thank you, ladies. Thank and this you. is delicious. All I'm right, well, keep watching here for more <laughs> cookie tables and more cookie recipes and tips as we continue Cookie Table Week on PTL. Tomorrow, we're decorating sugar cookies with royal icing. Thursday, it is Pizzelle and Gaillette's Day. And Friday, we make a cookie that is a big hit on tables, Italian peach cookies. I can't wait to try this and learn how to make them. I can't wait to have more of this. And if you would like to join the <laughs> wedding cookie table community on Facebook, both of you are a part of that. You can look for the link at PittsburghTodayLive.com.